After watching Dark Vipers and JX's video on reaction streamers, I appreciate you even more. Oh, thank you very much. The entertainment you provide is incredible. Hope one day have the chance to go to Insomnia and meet you IRL. Hey, if you come to Insomnia, I will try and be there pretty much all the time. The next Insomnia, I will definitely be at again, and I'm more than happy to talk to everyone. Uh, but no, the there's actually been a lot of information about reaction content coming out recently. Two major YouTubers made some uh, some interesting videos on them, and one of them said something that I didn't even think of because it's it's so obvious when you think about it, but. It was, I almost couldn't see the wood for the trees kind of thing. I was I was in the forest trying to spot a tree. He said, when someone makes a reaction to a video, there are now effectively two versions of that video. One of them contains the original creator and a reactor and is longer, which means of these two versions, YouTube is often going to prioritize the longer one simply because it can show you more adverts on it. And when you have two versions of the same video, YouTube prioritizes the one that serves it best, not necessarily the one that serves the audience best. And I thought that's a really good, yeah, that, that's a really good way of putting it. You're effectively doubling up on content. Yeah, there are two versions. You have a three hour reaction video. Yes, I do. That was my almost meta way of rebelling against the reaction meta. The reason I don't find reactions that interesting is because if everyone's just reacting to everything, then no one's creating anything original. And it's it's this the, you know how we've got just endless Marvel movies, endless superhero movies, endless, you know, procedural crime dramas on TV. It's because it's a very formulaic easy way to do something. You're not against react stuff though, right? Mysteria, it's it's more complicated than being for it or against it. It's how much positivity does the react add to the original because if you are a very small channel that you know nobody has heard of and you have made something incredibly high quality and the reason that no one is watching it is simply because youtube isn't pushing it yeah if if the reason is that youtube just isn't pushing it then being reacted to by a big channel can be a huge boost if you are a big channel that has already been established someone reacting to your video is essentially just taking your work and you know using the effort that you've put in to create content for themselves. It's much more complicated than that. What if the YouTube made it so all the views on the React video? Oh yeah, that was one of the um one of the the ideas. Have the ad revenue that the React creates sent to the original. Yeah, that, that's a, a potential. That that is again a it's a debate that's far more complicated than yes or no. And there are solutions that will hopefully make everyone happy with it. Asmon said if a creator doesn't want the videos to be reacted to, he won't do it. That seems like a good way to do it. That's very true, Cryptic. Uh, another problem with that, though, is that the vast majority of a video's uh, income and views are generated within the first two to three days, sometimes up to the first week. So if someone spends absolutely ages creating a video and puts it out there, the first two to three days of that video existing will be the vast majority of its views, provided you have an established viewer base. If you haven't been discovered yet, it will just sit in obscurity and then get view boosted eventually. But if someone reacts to that video and then puts that out onto their channel and the original person finds it within, say, one or two weeks, what you then need to say is, hey, can you take that down? And if they take that down, that doesn't actually affect them that much because the income that it's generated within that first week is still so much greater than anything else that person could have done within the week. I could just react to everything, simply wait for people to ask me to take it down and take it down. As long as my reaction's up longer than 48 hours, then I would still massively benefit from them putting the effort in to make it. I'm pretty sure Asmon said he'd give the income from it too. Uh, he did not say that, Georgesy. He said he would happily remove videos if you asked, and he would not uh, repost them. Uh, it's his editor, Cat Danny, that puts all the stuff up, but the income specifically goes to Asmon from those videos, or goes to Cat Danny, I believe, from those videos. Um, it's all very unregulated. That's a good way of putting it out. It's very unregulated. Asmon Gold sent some money his way after Asmon reacted to his video. I mean, if you did that to... The, uh, the Mad Show is great. That's a Mad Season, sorry, is a phenomenally talented creator. And if that was the arrangement they had, fantastic to them. But I don't know that, so I can't comment on that. What if they refuse to take it down? Oh, then you can just do a strike on it if you need to. But that's, again, that's very extreme. I would much rather we deal with, you know, people directly and not get the authorities of YouTube involved. Because, I mean, you've seen that YouTube just take down channels randomly. I, I wouldn't ever want to be responsible for bringing the ire of YouTube onto anyone's channel, whether it's uh, 
you know, a big channel or a small channel, simply because I just don't trust that automated system to be fair. So I would much rather be able to deal with it in a calm and rational way with whoever's channel it is. And I think most people, and I've said this before, most people who get big, they, they, they have at least a level of understanding of being decent people. There is, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't do that. It's, I think one of the interesting ways to look at it is, and I've said this before, there is a level of success that being an asshole will get you to. Abs there is a level of success that just blind confidence will absolutely take you to. But to get beyond that, you need to be a reasonable, rational, decent person. 